Hi, I'm Lou Perosi, and today I'm going to show you how to go about carving plaster. About 30 minutes ago, 40 minutes ago, I casted this. You may have saw it a little while ago. Um, now that it's hardened, we can take a look. That liquid has turned to a solid, and it's pretty and it's pretty ready to go. Um, how can you tell if the plaster is ready to go? Is if you stick your thumbnail um, into the plaster, um, you can't really break that plaster barrier. Um, that tells me that this is ready to go. Also, when I feel that this is really kind of warm, so this is a good time to start carving. Now, sometimes people like to wait until their plaster really dries out a lot before they do their castings. I actually find it a little bit easier to do it when it's still kind of wet. Um, when it's a little wet, it kind of carves really, really well. So let's just go over how to go about carving um, the plaster before we get started. We should probably talk uh, again about the different safety things that you're going to need to do before you get started. One is you're going to have to wear your safety goggles, okay? Um, these are going to be good. I'm not going to wear it because I've got my glasses, but you definitely want to be wearing your safety goggles when carving the plaster. The main reason is you might be carving it a little piece of plaster goes into your eye. That's the last thing that you want to do. The second thing you want to do is you want to wear your uh, mask, right? Your respirator, preferably the N95 mask. That's going to work out really, really well. We don't want to be taking any kind of uh, uh, plaster particles, inhaling those. So you want to be wearing that. I'm not simply because I'll be giving this talk. I don't know how well that'll go through in the video. And the third thing you should be doing is you should be wearing your cut resistant gloves uh, just in case you don't stab yourself with a knife, okay? Because you are doing some carving. Um, the other thing you're gonna wanna think about is I had you guys get a variety of different knives. This is the thing that you're going to be do, using a lot of. It's really important that you're not using like your parents or grandparents fine china, you know, the silver knives. Chances are by using these kind of knives, they're gonna get pretty dull pretty quickly uh, when carving with plaster. So you either wanna have them sharpened or, um, you know, just have some ones that you're probably not planning to use. A great place to get knives is like a Goodwill or a donation center. Uh, they'd love to take your business. You can usually get these knives pretty cheap. Okay, so having said that, um, mine's still a little bit dry. Um, so I'm going to take this and we're going to go ahead and cut this open. All right, you guys can get a sense for it. So I may even just kind of tear this. All right, now I went ahead a couple things. I went ahead to put some fresh newspaper down. Uh, plastic drop cloth is good. You are going to get really dirty when you're working in carving. So I even changed out my shirt and my pants just in case. I usually when I'm carving plaster, I um, usually prefer to have an apron on. I don't have one at the moment. It was something that I forgot to grab from my studio. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take a look at this. Is this pretty cool or what? I just tear this off. You can do this with a, uh, a box cutter too. I'm just, just want to get all this. Yeah, it's really nice and warm. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's a nice casting. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about right there. Okay. Let's get this off. All right. So what do you, you want to see what it looks like? How cool is this people? All right. So here it is. There's the casting. Look at how nice and clean that is. Can you see that? Look at how neat that is. I even have the crease. Can you see that to the bottom? So love this material. I love carving with this material. I love working with this material. It's really just a great material. Um, again, just take a look at that. All right, so now that we've done that, we can go ahead and start the process of carving. Um, for our assignment, we were talking about um, positive and negative form, right? Um, some of this spills over to even uh, positive and negative space. Remember, we talked a little bit about that in the last module. Um, we can create delineated space by having a hole in there. You know, so what's delineated space? Well, this coffee mug, which I'm going to take a sip out of. 
that right there, that enclosed space is the linear space. We can see right through, it's that empty space. Um, again, we did talk about that. All right, so we're gonna start the process of teaching your carving. Now, I'm not gonna do all this today. I'm gonna carve it. I will probably, the first image you see uh, in this video will be uh, of the finished carved piece. I don't think we should sit through here and watch the next 40 minutes, but I am gonna, uh, you know, it'll probably take me hours to carve this. Actually, it's gonna take me a really long time to carve this. So, I'm just gonna give you the raw basics for how, to, how you might wanna think about this. We're gonna go back to that original sketch and really take a look at it, the one that we sort of approved, and then we're gonna start the, the, the process of carving. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these knives. Again, I've got my gloves on, I've got my respirators on, I've got my safety goggles on. I'm gonna take my knife, and um, it may not even be a bad idea to go ahead and um, Look at how beautiful that is to carve. Oh, I love that. Oh, how do I love that? That is fantastic. Look at that. Can you see that? See how nice and easy that is to carve, right? Um, so you can go ahead and begin to carve that way. I wanna go ahead and start to make a hole. Um, so I'm just gonna take my knife. Look at how easy, when it's wet, it's very easy. Can you see that? It's very easy to carve, right? Again, sometimes people wait too long when they carve. Do you see all the little stuff that's shooting off? So you gotta be careful. You gotta have those safety goggles in there, right? So we're gonna take that. We're gonna make that hole. Okay, get in there. All right. And in this particular case, I can go all the way through if I like. Um, Get some nice texture there. But again, look at how nice that comes out. I can go ahead and bore it this way. Okay. And so on and so forth. When the plaster is still wet, like it is now, again, I just casted this like 30 minutes ago. Look at, I can still manipulate the plaster, which is, is kind of fun. All right, so I've created these lines, and if I go back to my original sketch, which uh, I don't have at the moment, you can remember these lines. All right. Now I'm at that age where I can't see everything, so I need reading glasses, but I refuse to get reading glasses. Um, I'm, I'm kind of there, so I'm, if I'm wearing the glasses, it's fuzzy. I take them off, it's a little fuzzy. Um, so. Uh, but I do need to wear some safety protection, so we're going to do this anyway. I want to make sure I get this, get these guys back on here. Okay. Actually, maybe I could swap out the other safety goggles. That actually might work out a little bit better. I'm sure they're... Oh, yeah, that's good. Okay. All right. Now, look at that. Do you see how, how I'm carving that? I'm just able to take that away. Now this section, I wanna round this off. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to round that off and how to get it to look flawless, okay? Absolutely flawless, all right? It's a good idea not to have your hands near where you're cutting either. Um, I won't say it cuts like cheese, but it certainly cuts really, really nicely. Okay. Oh yeah, that's just nice. Oh yeah, that's good. All right. Again, it's a good idea to do it when it's wet. Now, another thing you can do um, if it dries out too much is you can take a spray bottle and just spray your piece and you'll just look at it. It just sits there and absorbs. That's a little intense. You probably want to miss this. Um, you can miss this and it's just gonna suck in that moisture. And that's just gonna make it a little bit easier for you to carve, okay? So always use that in your back pocket as something that you can do. All right, and so we're gonna get this. And don't worry, if you make a mistake, plaster is actually easy to fix. We can 
mix some more, wet the surface, and then just reapply, okay? So now, all right. Now, let's take a look at this. So can you see that? See, it's a little rough. Now you may like that. You may like that. I don't know if you can see that. I think you can. But if you want to get it nice and smooth and rounded, let me show you a little technique. This is where our wet, dry sandpaper is going to come into use. So what I like to do is I like to take a little section, fold it just like this, okay, and then Fold it the other way. A little bit of folding. And then you just kind of tear it. But wherever you fold it, it gives it a pretty nice tear. Okay. Okay, nice and even, right? And then sometimes I'll, f I'll fold these further. Now here's how you use the wet dry sandpaper. Okay, again, remember, I want a nice rounded edge for this, okay? So I get a bucket of water and I take this and I put it in the water and now I just get in there and I sand it. Okay, oh look at that, that is really nice. Like that, and then it gets clogged up. I get in there and I just work it, okay? And I'll show it to you in a second. You're gonna see how nice this is. This is really nice. And then if it gets a little, uh, you know, you got some, some residue from this and you can't really see what you're doing, a, a sponge that you don't mind losing, which is this, is what you're gonna to wanna to use. And we're just gonna take it damp and then just work that surface over, okay? And then I take my thumb and I just kinda of work it over, right? And so, Oh yeah, that looks really nice, really nice. Okay, let's show you here. You can get this thing as smooth as you want. Take a look at that, okay? I hope you can see that. So you see how nice and rounded that is? Let's see, let me look in the camera here. Oh yeah, you see how nice and rounded that is, right? Nice and smooth surface. Okay, nice rounded edge. All right. Okay. Oh yeah, I love the bottom, right? The bottom's pretty great. Okay, so now I'm just gonna continue with that process. Um, I'm, again, I'm gonna base it off of my sketch. And maybe in my sketch I have this section uh, cut out. I can go ahead and, um, or this top is a little bit rounded out. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, try to cut away from yourself if you can, because the last thing you want to do is hurt yourself. Um, or keep your hands away from that. All right. Yeah, this is the best time to do this. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's nice. I'm really starting to create some volume. All right, I'm really getting that sense. Okay. But look at your sketch, right? Your sketch, I think I have some rounded stuff. Again, I left it at the school, so it's probably not a, not a tragedy. I'm just here to teach you some techniques. That's nice. That's nice. I like that. Okay. Yeah, that's good. All right. Oop, watch your hand there. Okay, again, I'm going to get the wet dry sandpaper. And I'm flattening this edge. Oh, yeah, that's going to be nice. That's good. look at that okay so you kind of get the sense for where we're going with this right all right 
and then you can continue just to kind of continue to carve it down. Now, if you look at this one corner, there's a little bit of plaster that chipped away that I didn't want to have have to break away. Let's just say, for me, I don't care. I can probably work with this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little water. I'm going to make sure it's good and soaked. Okay, here's an easy fix. Okay, again, the before. And then I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to go ahead and scratch the surface. All right, I'm going to add a little more water. Okay, let it really soak until it can't anymore. And these little flakes, I can either mix up plaster, like I showed you guys before, or I can let this, I can roll this in a little bit of a ball, get a little bit, add a little water, and I can even get that in the bucket. And now that this is sort of formed, okay, I'm just gonna work this over. Now I just place it in there, okay? And voila, okay, I fixed it. Okay, does that make sense? You could take those scrubs, get it nice and mushy. You wanna make sure that that, that is nice and, and mushy. Again, all this plaster cannot go down your drain. Um, but that's kind of the basics of it, okay? You could try different tools and stuff. Um, again, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue to work on this. I'll show you the finished piece uh, it'll be the first image on this video. But that's sort of the basics. Uh, we want to throw out any plaster in the trash. Again, be safe, safety goggles, uh, cut resistant gloves, and your respirator. They're all sort of critical things. Have some fun with it. Again, don't wait until it gets too dry because now is the easiest time um, to go about shaving it. And mist it like you'd water a, water a plant. Um, you'll see it just suck in the water, okay? It'll just really, really suck in the water, which it's doing. You can even take this and dump it in a bucket, let it absorb, okay? Let it soak in some of that water. You wanna walk away for a few minutes and you'll just see that thing sort of act like a sponge, okay? Let it get that water and then continue to work it over the course of the next couple of days. Now, if you're finished working with, this is super important too, so don't forget this. I like working with it when it's dry. <clears throat> I do not want this to dry out too much. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna get a plastic bag like at the grocery store, you know, I mean, like these bags. I'm gonna miss the bag. Okay, I'm gonna miss the bag, probably double bag it, and then I'll put it in there. So it kind of creates like a, a humidor uh, for the pot for this uh, plaster assignment so that it doesn't dry out. Because again, if it dries out, it's gonna be much more difficult to carve. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed my video. Um, if you have any questions, you can certainly reach out to me. Um, but thanks again for watching. Again, I'm Lou Perosi, and you have a great day.